Welcome back to Entertainment Weekly's coverage of Comic Con. Dalton Ross here with you with the cast of The Expanse. Yeah. More. Uh, guys, um, I saw you guys did the Expanse escape room they have here. I did it myself. Yes, I did. made it out. I saw did you did guys out? made it out. Yes. What I want to know is who is the all star in there? I will say that. Who? Not. Dom was a real was, life Naomi. It was Dom. Yeah. Yeah. Dom. Yeah. Dom. Yeah. Yeah. We, yeah, it, it, she kicked in. Yeah. So yeah. I, was, I didn't even know it was happening. We, we, we were on the opposite team, and I would look back, there's a little window in between yeah. teams, and her little face was peeking in, looking at us, <laughs> seeing what we were doing, and then going back Listen, and Listen, I worked out myself to like I was looking at okay. you. Okay, Naomi. <laughs> Well, you all made it out. So I'm, glad, it. I'm glad you got to hear it. Hopefully you weren't exposed to any proto-molecules. Not you that you know. While you were in there. Uh, we've got your panel here today. I'm moderating it. Very yes. excited. Yay. Yes. Tons of fun yes. over the Indigo Ballroom. Um, but I'm curious because this show is so sci-fi heavy, so nerdy. Do you ever worry or do you ever get questions from fans when we do, do like the fan question where you're just like, I have no idea what you're talking about. Sometimes. <laughs> Every day. <laughs> we just direct them in the rain. Right. Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. Like the rain. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Any science related question, it's like, talk to the physicist over there. He, he's got the answers for you. Yeah. 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 But it's got to be exciting. Uh, you guys just started filming season three, I guess, of our yes. battles that go in yeah. so far. You see all the bruises on my body? So <laughs> <laughs> it tells you where we are now. Just yes. hanging by wires. Yeah, exactly. Right. It's going great. I don't know how much we can say, but um, we have got a hell of a season lined up. And it's, it's continuing in the vein of season two, and I think that everyone's going to love this season. Absolutely love it. Uh, there, there's love so it. much action in season three. There is so much going on uh, in, in the 13 episodes. The, the, the ambition is definitely to raise the bar significantly <coughs> this season yeah. as opposed to last season. And, uh, and, if, and, if, and if we're able to pull it off the way that it's planned, uh, it'll be exciting for you guys to see it. Well, it sounds like you guys have a pretty good base of knowledge in terms of what's coming, which was I was curious about in terms of how much the producers actually tell you at the beginning of the season, how much you're working script by script, and how much they're giving you an outline for the year. How does that work, Steve? Yeah, the, you know, I, we know where in the books we're going to end up. Right. So it's like if you're familiar with the, with the novels themselves, um, we know kind of roughly what's going to go on for the rest of the season, and there's big stuff that's going to happen. I mean, if, if there's any way to visualize the world that we've made somehow getting larger and more in-depth, <laughs> Uh, it's gonna happen, and there's big, big moments gonna happen Lots this season. Lots of new characters. Yeah. yeah. Got some um, wonderful new actors coming on board. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah, it's gonna amazing. be amazing. It's exciting. Yeah, because the books, <laughs> the the show doesn't follow the books in terms of season one didn't, and it ended about two thirds through book one, and then right. we're now about in the middle of book two. Yeah, so yeah. it's right. not a straight right. season no. of books. No, situation. you know, it's like we have the benefit of having the, the authors in our writers' room, so it's like they're able to truncate where they can. For the visual medium, and um, we, we've got some really exciting stuff going to happen. This if, season. if season one was all about world building and building up this whole Martian, Belter, Earther world, season two was all about introducing these characters in depth. Season three adds a whole new layer onto that, uh, something bigger than that whole scope, which is uh, the next level of, of where the story's going. A gateway. Oh, 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 just saying. <laughs> uh, you know, it's interesting because it's all about this conflict. You have these three sort of factions. If you, will. you have Earth and you have Mars and you have the Belt. I'm curious in terms of not your characters but you yourselves. Do you think you're more of an Earther, a Martian, or a Belter? Mother Earth. Earth. Earth must come first. <laughs> <laughs> you know how I feel about this. <laughs> Pretty meticulous to ask the others. <laughs> all right, Stephen, what do you think you are? I think my empathy lies with the Belters. I mean, yeah, yeah I think they're they're the ones who've got the the hardest, and um, you know they're the ones surviving out there for sure. I feel for them the most. Frankie, I'm the same. I definitely think I'm a belter at heart. I wouldn't mind having a few tattoos. She <laughs> 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 gets all the cool ones. <laughs> um, I, I'm I'm actually a big admirer of the Martian mentality. I like their focus. I like their singular vision. I like their group kind of. I mean, they do have a little bit of an arrogance about them that. But what are you talking about? <laughs> huh? But uh, I love I love the singular vision and singular purpose, striving towards a common goal, and they're 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 going towards that. Yes, Dominique. I am for sure a belter <laughs> <laughs> through and through. I yeah. just it's so close to how I grew up. I'm probably I would have grown up as a belter. You grew up in an asteroid. No, but definitely a lower class neighborhood yes. in East London is yeah. the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> 
Uh, what about you, Wes? So is this from the character's perspective? No, your perspective. Or, 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 oh, I would definitely think that, um, I mean, I got to go with Mother Earth. You know, yeah. I mean, that's what I say. But I think Amos is on Team Amos. <laughs> <laughs> and Team Rossi second. Yeah. With the exception of that, Naomi. I want to ask all them. I, I asked Wes this once. I won't, I'll tell you his answer after you guys answer it. Amos versus Fred Johnson in a cage match. Who wins? <laughs> Amos. 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 He said he said it would be Amos, but that he'd cheat. <laughs> it would be like, sort of like I guess it'd be like a, a like a blood sport for the sand in the eyes. No, no, no. There would be no there'd be no integrity about it. It'd be like you know when he's asleep or you know doing something else that's that's when he would put up a good fight though because he's yeah. a master not a fight not if he's sleeping well, <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's true but it's still amos yeah but it would be amos oh, sure. Sure. all right fair enough what's it like for you guys when you, you you read the scripts you film the show but there's so much cg and other things that are added later it looks incredible and i know that steven mentioned there are very practical sets you guys work oh, on yeah. that's not all just added but but there are effects and things what's it like when you see it all then finally put together it's no, incredible. It's unbelievable. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Our special yeah. effects team is just, uh, I mean, the incredible. They the get like effects, a day off me. in the whole year because right. they spend the entire time creating these worlds that we don't yeah. have. And the, the, the story is so deep and meaningful that it, it takes us there. We don't even see the technical gadgets anymore. Yeah. I, also, I honestly got goosebumps when uh, I saw the stuff on a big screen. We mm. were in, uh, in New Jersey and we saw it. I got literally goosebumps at the, the reality, the clarity of the reality of the world building that uh, mm. Bob Monroe, who's our special effects guy. He's the effects. Uh, that, the effects. He's that's why we think it'd be cool if, if we got you guys to come out and visit and get to see everything so the next time yes. we're here we can talk about what you've seen. I've already been there, man. I went to the escape room and afterwards they put me in that helmet <laughs> and I'm like, oh man, there I am and now we're just going to the VR. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. It gets real. Uh, we, literally, we literally rehearsed a scene uh, for season three using the VR just to get an idea of where we were in, uh, in, a, in yeah. an area of, of the show we have it wasn't even built yet mm -hmm. and so they put us in the VR so amazing. we could actually see ourselves on the Rossi uh, to mm -hmm. rehearse the scene it was pretty cool yeah I know Naomi in that situation I was like get me off the side of the ship <laughs> 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 alright give me I want you each to go, go give me one word to describe season 3 of The Expanse Sheree we'll start with you apocalyptic Okay, Ooh. it's a good one. That's setting the bar high. Yeah, you you stole it. You guys yeah. the same thing. Yeah. Uh, explosive. Um, Perfect. The pressure. <laughs> <laughs> pressure. Pressure. <laughs> uh, from my character's point of view, I'm going to say unraveling. Mm. Well, especially what happened at the end of season two. Yeah. All right, mm -hmm. Cass. Um, ape epic. Okay. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Betrayal. Ooh, Ooh, I like that oh, one. Oh. You went there. Yeah, there you, you go. Went there. <laughs> well done. Yeah, All right, guys. Me. I cannot wait to chat more with you later at the Indigo Ballroom. We'll be doing it tonight. It's, it's yeah, going to be a right. total, Can't total wait. blast. Might have some goodies for some folks. The Great. Expanse yeah, Season 3 coming 2018. Thanks for coming in, guys. Thank we'll be back with more Entertainment Weekly's coverage from Comic-Con.